Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to check your vehicle's history in the UK free of charge. All cars have a history, most of which are hidden. Take this 2014 Mini Countryman. Would you know that this has been involved in a heavy smash? No you wouldn't, it looks fine. It looks like it's a normal everyday used car, but those of you that follow my channel will know it was involved in a pretty heavy front end smash and I'll put it back on the road. So I'm going to show you very quickly how to check your car's history. So whether it's been involved in an accident, whether it's been stolen, recovered, or if it has outstanding finance, which is a massive issue, I'm going to show you how to do that in a couple of minutes and it's completely free. Right, so there's three websites we're going to need to look at to get a full vehicle history. So first one is the um, MOT history site from DVLA. So if you click on start now, I'll link all these in the description. Put your vehicle registration in, WF14VZP, click continue. And this will display all the historic MOT information with regards to whether it's a pass or a fail, whether it's got any advisories or any dangerous things that have been picked up. Here we can check the mileage to make sure it checks out versus the date. So it's nice and consistent. And if you go down to the bottom, then we should see a vehicle recall section as well. So that will tell us whether there's any manufacturer recalls, rare bags or anything like that on the car. Now what we want to do is go up and just scan through the dates and make sure they're consistent. So we've got a 2025, 24, 23. So this is looking good. You're looking for any gaps because that's obviously a sure sign the car's been taken off the road. And it's maybe gone through salvage auction. Now this one was taken off the road but it was repaired quite quickly and within a year put back on the road. So we've not got any gaps there, which is cool. The next one is the Vehicle Inquiry Service from the DVLA. Again, I'll put the link in the description. Put your reg in WF14VZP and click continue. Now this will give you pretty much all the details that the DVLA hold on the vehicle itself. So it'll tell you whether it's taxed, MOT'd. You can then double check things like color, engine size. And the important thing here is the V5C logbook issue date. So that should be the last date or the date that's on the logbook that you're buying the car with and the final site we go to is auto trader so we're going to click on sell your car and create an advert and we're going to go through and enter all the vehicle information so enter your registration number wf14vzb and guess the mileage doesn't really matter it'll confirm it anyway we'll put 42,000 in here we know it's a little bit over that we scroll down create advert and now it's going to go away and it's going to do loads of background checks of all the different databases and companies out there that hold information on your vehicle and will give you a summary report. So that's just done. So if click OK, got it on the first page and on the second page again, get that out of the way, scroll down. It lists all the details from DVLA, 45,220 the mileage. So I wasn't far off, but it does confirm it for you. If you go to basic history check, this is the important one. See, it's not recorded as stolen. It's not recorded as scrapped. It's not been exported or imported, but it has got a Category S for an accident, which we knew about already. So if you've got all green ticks here, then you've got nothing to worry about. Guys, I hope you found that useful. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the other series I've got on my channel.